I'm going to interrupt my uh, series of videos of test firing the Carcano rifles because DK Firearms uh, in an email notice today uh, has started to sell bannets for the 91 series rifle. Now for the 91 series and not to be confused with the bayonets for the M38, M9138 series, short rifles, totally different bayonet. But for M91s, they're selling uh, the most common bayonet, which is this here. There is a second bayonet, okay? The M9130 TSs had a special bayonet, and a lot of you guys got the M91 TS carbines that take this oddball bayonet. So let me get the two of them on a little table side by side and we'll take a look at what the difference is and what DK is selling. Okay, what DK is selling is a standard M91 bayonet. This bayonet will fit the M91 long rifle and several carbine variations and the M91 41. Okay, it's pretty simple. It has a button here on the back end which you depress. And as you see how the lug goes straight down on. So it mounts pretty standard bayonet style mounting. But it needs that key shaped uh, stud on the front barrel band. Okay, this one has a metal scabbard and is blued with a wooden handle. This is what they're selling you for like 180 bucks. They come with either the metal scabbard like this or the leather one. Now this is what they're selling and again it's $180. They look like they're in really really nice shape. Uh, the book rates this type here, the bayonet price range 50 to 125 so I guess they're worth about uh, $50 more now okay and so now what's confusing is a lot of you guys have the uh, M91 TS's with that weird uh, lug underneath there and what it was is originally this is a M91 TS bayonet okay this, was, this will just go on the M91 TS carbine, the early model. And this has the earlier uh, leather scabbard with the brass fittings. You can find these like that. It depends when or where they were made or what time they were made. Uh, I'm not sure, but this has the leather scabbard. And now this here, I'm going to take that off. It's kind of frail. Alright, the difference between this bayonet and this one here, the cross guards are about the same. But what it is, is on the head here, if you notice, there's not, it doesn't go straight on, it rocks sideways. That's why that lug notch is there, and there is a spring loaded button on the end of this. Okay, so what you do is you stick this on the barrel, line it up with that side lug there, depress that, and you see where it moves that in, and you can rotate it, it locks and locks into place. And you would depress this and rotate it off that like ramp lug there. So that's the difference. These are hard to find, okay? They're very hard to find. I actually got this. It was included with a lot of guns I won in an auction that were not Carcanos. Had this and a uh, bayonet for a Turkish rifle in there. So it was pretty odd how I ended up with this. But it's pretty much basically the same thing, but a different mounting system. Same type of blade and everything even a similar little wooden handle but a different mounting system these here are hard to find the book 
uh, list these from 250 to 125, which anytime I've seen them on the gun broker, they want 350 and more for these bayonets. So they are unusual and difficult to find. So getting one of these may be problematic and expensive. If now granted compared to the condition of this bayonet, uh, this has some surface rust on it and everything, but the ones DK have look totally refurbed and new. They have two different grades, grade B and a grade C with a broken leather scabbard. Uh, about 180 bucks is about what you can get one of these for now. So that's what they look like up close and let me demonstrate what goes on what. Alright, what these bayonets will fit, starting off, the original M91 long rifle, okay? Again, bayonet lug like that, these fit on there, okay? So, if you got an M91, that's the right bayonet. For all of you that bought the M9124 cut down long rifle. Again, same style bayonet lug. It'll fit on all of those M9124s that we have recently bought from Buds and everybody else. Okay, that's what it looks like on the M9124. Now, if you had an M9128. They were selling these with the M91 TSs, M9128 TS. What the difference is, is it has a different nose cap and its second barrel band. So if you bought from this batch from DK or somewhere else, or PS uh, Palmetto State Armory still has them, this bayonet will fit on this rifle. Carbine, I mean. There. So, 9124s, 9128s. And it will also fit on the M9141 rifle. They kind of standardize it. This bayonet works. I'm basically any of the 91s to have that type of nose cap and bayonet stud, locking stud. That bayonet's good for all those models. Now, what this will not fit on, obviously the cavalry carbines, because the bayonet comes with them, you don't mount any bayonets on it. Also, the M38 short rifles use a totally different bayonet so they won't work on these. But now it brings us to our original old 91 TS's. And this is the one that has this type of bayonet mount. Now it was awful difficult for me to find one of these in the original condition like this, but I did after a period of time. And now when they imported these, they came in in the droves. So, this is where we need our other bayonet. And how this works, like I said, is you come down here. Come down here along the side. And then this thing. Come down here on the side. And then you take this sideways, press the button, okay, you got to depress the button, go sideways, I'm trying to do this so you can see it, sideways and then it latches like that onto this, in this groove, in that fashion. These are tough to find. And when you do find them, they're quite expensive. And again, we depress this down here, 
and it comes right off that one quickly. That's a look at the mechanism. And you can see where that lines up with this. So that's my flash update on the bayonet sale, what you're getting. And if you scroll down, kind of in the description, they say 91 TS. If you scroll down, they actually have a photograph showing you which type is what and what they're selling and what it will go on and what it will not. It's written in red. So they are warning you. These people are not trying to pull a fast one, deceive you, or sell you something that ain't going to fit on a gun you bought from them. They do show you and explain it. Price a little steep, but what are you going to do?